Hey friends, Diana here from Garden Love. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on two of my stone fruit trees that I feel that I haven't been giving much updates, but they're doing amazing and they're fruiting. So let me show you. All right, guys, this is one of my favorite fruits. It is a nectarine queen, snow queen nectarine. Look at that. And it's completely loaded almost in every single branch that you see which could be an issue because these branches aren't that big which means they can only sustain so much weight from the fruit and these are going to get a lot bigger and if I do want them to get bigger I'll definitely have to thin them out so I'm going to be doing that as much as it pains me to do it I'm going to be doing that here shortly look at all this fruit guys and the most amazing part about growing this fruit tree that it's not taking much space and furthermore it is in a container which is amazing because a lot of us don't have space to put fruit trees in the ground and I put some a little a wheel stand that way I can move it around if I need to considering that my space is very small last year I had it over there this year I decided to put it here and I actually love the way it looks that's another benefit about growing fruit trees in containers that you can move them around and will they will add an amazing look to your landscape because you might be doing changes and when you move them around you can change the look of your landscape I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like let me step back here so I decided to add some little raised beds here to grow a little bit more and I have a fruit tree there and a fruit tree there and I think it looks perfect so yes guys I'm gonna show you guys one more fruit that's another stone fruit The other stone fruit I'm going to show you guys is my peach tree. I honestly feel like I do not share uh, this tree as much as I should. And my videos is sitting here in the corner hiding behind are my kids trampoline. But as you can see, uh, it is producing tons of little peaches. And every single branch also has tons of peaches. And most importantly, look at this. Fruit. Fruit fruit and by the way this is like a three in one I think it was a four in one peach tree unfortunately one of the branches didn't seem to make it so it's more this branch didn't make it over here but it's more like three in one okay and furthermore dun 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 it's in a container all right guys here comes the hardest part about thinning your fruit trees especially this one because the fruit is amazing and I it really pains me to um, thin it but I have to do it in order to allow the tree to produce big juicy fruit and to prevent any damage to the tree like this. Come and see what happened to this branch. This was way too heavy and as you can see, it broke the branch. I put it up here, cropped it up so I can show you guys, but I'm gonna have to cut this off to allow the tree to focus its energy on the rest of the fruit instead of focusing on trying to repair something and it's not repairable. So I'm gonna take care of that in a little bit. But let me show you how I'm going to thin out my fruit. For example, this tiny little branch has two fruits, impossible for it to take care of both. So I am going to take one and this is so painful to do because I love, 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 love this fruit. So there's one, I'm only gonna allow one fruit on this tiny little branch. Look at this branch over here. One, two, three, four, five, way, 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 way too many. This one looks like it's dry now, so it's gonna go. So there we go, and this one has way too many as well so I'm going to take that off that might be okay just because I don't want to take it off <laughs> okay here's another example two way too close in this tiny little branch there's just no way so this one's hard they're both kind of the same size this one's at the end this one looks maybe a little smaller so I'm going to do the smaller one just because the tree already took a lot of energy trying to take care of that fruit oh my god look at this over here look at this one two three four five holy moly there's way too many guys way too many so there's one oh <gasps> these are attached so i'm not sure which one to take off guys i'm sure this is painful for you to watch and i'm feeling it the same way look at all this fruit I probably should have done this sooner because the tree already took a lot of energy 
and producing all this fruit and here I am taking so many of this fruit off I'm gonna try to take the smaller fruit like over here there's some here but you know last time I did this to my citrus tree my satsuma um, citrus look at this one it has three I thought I had taken off all the fruit and you guys saw that video where I was so surprised to already to have found like about 10 fully developed fruit apparently I didn't do a good enough job to remo removing all the fruit or they popped out afterwards so just don't worry you might think you not have it you don't have enough fruit but your tree will definitely surprise you oh my god look at this okay that was easy enough look at this so much fruit on this branch and you know what this branch is a small branch there's no way this is gonna be able to hold all the fruit once it gets big so I'm just gonna take it off look at all of that look at this I'm just gonna remove it look at all this fruit guys Especially if you have a young tree guys, this is definitely something you have to do because your fruit tree is not going to be able to take care of all the fruit. So don't be afraid guys. Take all the fruit. Let your tree take care of you and you take care of it. Alright guys, well this is going to conclude the video. I just wanted to give you an example on how to take off the fruit that uh, thin out your tree. That way your tree can focus its energy on the fruit you do allow it to be and you don't have branches breaking off like the one I showed you earlier. Look at all of that. You guys have a blessed day. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.